टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम इंटरेस्टिंग फैक्ट्स अबाउट सर्कल सर्कल इज बेसिकली अ टाइप ऑफ कॉनिक सेक्शन वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस इन ओवर प्रीवियस वीडियो डिटेल्स अबाउट कॉनिक सेक्शन वी डिस्कस हाउ कॉन इज फॉर्म्ड हाउ राइट सर्कल कॉन इज फॉर्म्ड एंड हाउ डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ कॉनिक सेक्शन फॉर्म बाय द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ प्लेन एंड द कॉन फॉर डिटेल्स you should visit our previous video the layout of our two day lecture is first of all definition of the circle parts of the circle chord versus diameter basically we define what is the difference between the chord and the diameter and difference between the secant line and the tangent line these questions are very important ask in many different types of test and interviews what is the difference between secant line and tangent line today we learn about the secant line and tangent line next one is definition of the pi use of the pi arc segment and se sector difference next circle on a graph how to calculate the area of the circle and equations of the circles standard form the equation and finally the general form of the equation first of all definition of the circle a circle is a locus of all the points equidistant from a central point or in other words we can say that a circle is the locus of all the points such that they have fixed distance from a fixed point okay circle is a 2d shape and this is a local of all the points such that they have a fixed distance from a fixed point here we are going to discuss some parts of the circle first of all center the point equidistant from all the points of the circle basically a point which is located at at the center this one this is equidistant from the all points of the circle next one is the radius the distance from the center of the circle to any point on it the distance from center to any point on it is called the radius of the circle or in other words if we discuss the definition of the circle the circle is the shape holds equidistant from a fixed point and we can say that is a fixed distance from a fixed point okay and that fixed point is called the center and the fixed distance is called the radius okay next term is circumference the distance around the circle is called the circumference basically our distance which we travel around the circle gives us the circumference next thing is chord and diameter a line segment whose end points lie on the circle thus divided a circle into two segment is called a chord chord basically a line which divide the circle in two parts here in blue line we can see that a chord a chord next term is diameter a line segment whose end points lies on the circle and that passes through the center okay basically end points of the chord also lie on the circle and the end points of the diameter also lie on the circle but what is the difference between the chord and the diameter or the length of the such line segment this is the largest distance between any two point basically one thing is this is the largest distance between any two point on the circle or the second thing is this is the special case of chord namely the longest chord or the of a circle and its length is the twice of the length of the radius okay here three things is important first one diameter is the largest distance between any points of the circle second thing is that diameter is a special type of chord which passes through the center and third thing thing is that diameter is the double distance of the radius okay if we have radius length is 5 then its diameter is 10 okay next secant line and tangent line an extended chord a coplanar straight line intersecting a circle in two points basically a straight line that intersect the circle at two points is called the secant line here in green line we can see that a secant line okay okay 
this is basically a extended code that divide the circle in two part but this also intersecting the circle at two points code is a line that touches the circle at two point and the second is a extended code that intersect the circle at two points next one is tangent a covalent straight line that has a one point in common with the circle touches the circle at this one this point okay basically tangent is a line which touches the circle only at the one point not intersecting the circle thus touches the circle at one point and second line intersect the circle at two different point or in other words we can see that an extended code is called the secant this is very important difference arc segment and sector arc any connected part of the circle is called arc here in red line we can see that arc a connected part of the circle boundary this is called arc next term is segment a region bounded by a cord and one of the arc connected the cord cords end point basically this is a segment here we can see that uh, a arc and a cord this is a cord and this is arc and the region bounded by the cord and the arc is called the segment next next term is sector a region bounded by two radii radii is the plover of the radius of equal length with the common center and either of the two possible arcs determined by the center and the end point of the radii basically here we consider two radius first radius is this one and this point is basically the center of the circle as radius is the distance from the center of the circle we consider two radii and second one is here okay a sector is a region bounded by two radii and one arc okay this is called the sector next term is pi the definition of the pi the circumference divided by the diameter of the circle what is circumference circumference is distance travel around the circle and the diameter is the double of the radius if we divide circumference by the diameter then we get a term is called pi and value of the pi is 3.14159 here we can see that there is no sequence of repetition and this is non terminal term okay non terminating term and there is no sequence in their repetition words quick and easy approximation of the pi is 24 by 7 that is equal to 3.1428571 and the exact value of the pi is 3.14159 we can observe that 24 by 7 is not exactly equal to the pi but this is a quick and easy approximation of the pi okay in fact pi is not equal to the ratio of any two numbers which makes it an irrational number or in other words we can say that the value of the pi is non-terminating and non-repeating we or non-occurring that's why we call it irrational number to help you to remember what pi is just draw the diagram here you can see that the diameter is 1 then the circumference is equal to the pi as we see from the definition of the pi that pi is equal to circumference over diameter if we have one di diameter then the circumference is equal to pi use of pi we can uh, use pi to find the circumference when we know the diameter basically circumference is equal to pi into times diameter here is a practical example you walk around a circle which has a diameter of 100 meter first thing is 100 meter diameter and how far you walked and second thing the path is circular it means 
we have to calculate the basically the circumference of the circle to find the distance travels okay distance a person walked we have to find the circumference her circumference is equal to pi times the diameter and diameter is 100 meter by multiplying this we get 314 meters distance walked how to calculate the circle area of the circle basically the area of the circle is equal to pi times r square where i is the r is the radius of the circle okay or when you know the diameter how you can calculate the area of the circle as we know that diameter is the double of the radius or in other words we can say that radius is the half of the diameter it means we can put that r is equal to d over 2 then we get the form a is equal to d square over 4 or when we know the circumference of the circle how you can calculate the area of the circle or in other words we can say that the this relationship between the circumference and the area is given by this relationship this if we put a is equal a is equal to pi 4 into d square and we multiply these terms by multiply and divide this term by pi then we get pi square d square over 4 and pi square d square is equal to circumference square as circumference is equal to pi times t then we get this relationship how to calculate the area first of all we consider a circle with radius 3 we draw a circle with 3 radius then its area formula is pi times r square by putting the values and approximate it to the two decimal places we get the value of 28.27 meter square here units is square as we are going to take the square of the radius and the unit of the radius is meter then we get the answer 28.27 meter square thanks for watching hopefully this video helps you to understand the concept of the circle and about its parts in our next video we will discuss about the equation of the circle its standard and general form and the relationship between the standard and the general form we also see that circle on the graph